Hello, police department. Hello. Hi, hey, sir. Yeah. How are you doing? Tonight, a major change is underway at Palm Springs International Airport in response to what the city has been describing as a growing problem. Earlier this year, the city council passed an ordinance to make it illegal for the homeless to take shelter there. And now that ordinance has gone into full effect. News Channel 3's Peter Dowd is going in-depth tonight on why the city says this new law is needed and how it works. Reports of homeless people living here at the airport have increased in the past year, alarming Palm Springs officials who swiftly and unanimously changed a city ordinance to stop it. So starting now, police have the authority to remove someone for trespassing at the terminal. This cell phone video taken by a Palm Springs Airport employee shows what police and city officials say has been a difficult problem there for the past several months. More than a dozen homeless people taking shelter inside the terminal and just steps away from passengers. Certainly can't help uh, the public relations for the city to have a bunch of homeless people at the airport. I mean, something needs to be done for the homeless, but the solution is not for them to camp uh, at the airport. According to a recent city staff report, during a single week, the airport had up to 14 homeless people staying there, including someone who had been there for up to six weeks. The terminal is open 24-7. Even right here, we had people sleeping, and uh, they would sit in the chairs or crawl up underneath and, uh, and try to find that little bit of respite uh, for themselves. And that is what becomes difficult because people also need to sit here who are traveling. Palm Springs Police Chief Andy Mills says the airport is not meant to be a shelter. People would bring in shopping carts and as well as all their earthly belongings and food containers and sometimes animals. Uh, and so when you have that in a pretty small area where people are trying to rent cars and pick up their luggage, it really became a difficult problem, not only for the traveling customers, but for them as well. And it's not a healthy place for them to be either. So this was more than just an eyesore. Right. It was a health problem. 5-0, motion passes. The city agreed. So in January, voted to rewrite the trespassing ordinance, specifically making it unlawful for a person to enter or remain in any area of the airport unless the person has legitimate airport business. Anyone else could be promptly removed from the airport and also charged with the misdemeanor punishable with a $1,000 fine or up to six months in jail. Did you feel safer at the airport? Yes, definitely safer. Bart Davis says he recently became homeless and had been sleeping at the airport since he felt safe there at night. So the airport had resources over there and they have the internet, they have water so I can like bathe and things like that. And that's why most every one of us goes over there. Since you're no longer at the airport, where are you sleeping now? Right now I'm sleeping in a lot. In a dirt lot? Yeah. The president of the nonprofit Well in the Desert, which provides services to the homeless, says people should not have to sleep at the airport, but there's currently no overnight shelter in Palm Springs. Hello, police department. There are no other places. Hello. It's tragic. Women won't be raped at the airport. Men will not be hit over the head with a baseball bat, people can avoid robberies. But th there's something wrong about the picture. Our people should not have to sleep at a public place where people are traveling. What should be is that the city and county provide immediate housing. Okay, have you been to the access center right over there? Just days before the ordinance went into effect, we went with officers throughout the airport as they warned the homeless about it and provided them with information on where to get help, including the nearby Palm Springs Access Center. They then walked out. The day the ordinance actually took effect, we went back with officers to the airport and did not discover a single homeless person. I'm actually kind of surprised because we did have a little bit of pushback initially when we were advising them about the ordinances months ago but it seems like gradually they've been leaving the airport, so. So I guess it seems like your message has been working. So far, so good. Police say they want to be as compassionate as possible to help the homeless find a place to get services. So each person they encounter here is given this list of shelters and resources. For more information on the new ordinance and to watch my full interview with the Chief of Police, head to our website, kesq.com. At the Palm Springs Airport, Peter Doubt, News Channel 3.